everyone today in this video i'm going to explain you two topics reversible and irreversible changes from class 6 uh, chapter 6 changes around us subject science so let's start so imagine if you had magical powers so what would you like to change around your surroundings like if i had magical power so i would like to change my bed my sofa my home into a big home like a bungalow and i would like to change my dresses my toys and and so on so uh we can we do not have magic powers that's true but we can change many things around us without magical power powers such as paper balloon and so on so let's start with reversible changes so now what are reversible changes changes that can be reversed that's right so i'm going to explain you this with an example so i have this paper and if i just fold it like this or like this like this so its shape and size is changing earlier it was bigger and now it has became smaller so are you able to get the big paper back which we had earlier are you able to let's try oh yes we are able to we got our paper back so it is a it is a reversible change now let's take one more example i have made this paper boat and let's check if i am able to get it back get the paper back oh yes see i've got the paper back so it is also an example of a reversible change now let's take one more example of this balloon now i am blowing it now i have blown it its shape and size have changed now if i just release it it has came back to its normal size at is as it was before now if you bl blow the balloon and burst it with the sharp point like the like a pencil point so it will be burst into pieces and it will be an irreversible change so it was an example of reversible change of blowing balloon now let's discuss irreversible changes with examples now i am i am taking a sketch pen and i i will draw something on this paper like a circle or a heart shape let's say here i have drawn now i am cutting i will cut it yes now i have cut it cut it now Uh, try to fix it. Are you able to fix it back like this? Are you able to get the paper back? No. So it is an example of irreversible change. Let's take one more example. If now. i take up i am tearing a piece of paper from this big paper its shape and size have been changed now if i just 
tear it into pieces like this. So are you able to get the paper, piece of paper back as it was before? See, I have made it into pieces. Are you able to get the paper back? Let's see. Let's try to join them. Mm. No, we are not able to. So it is also an example of irreversible change. Now, if you, uh, you, you must have seen your mother or grandmother cooking in the kitchen. Like we cook some vegetables. Let's say a uh, brinjal curry. Now if you cut the brinjal, then are you able to get the brinjal back as it was before? Or when you prepare uh, the uh, vegetable, are you give, uh, able to get the spices back which you put in the cooker or maybe in the kadhai? Are you able to get them back after mixing it? No, because they are soluble. So, it means it is also an irreversible change. We can take the example of roti. Like we, your mama was, your, you have must seen your mama while preparing a chapati. You must have seen her first uh, taking the dough of flour and then rolling it to make a ball. And she... Uh, she rolls it with a pin. Now, and she keeps it on the tawa. It becomes hot and it becomes um, black black spots come on, on it. So are you able to get the dough back? No. So it is also an example of irreversible change. So that was all in this video. So, bye.